everybody this is dr kashyap yavasti privileged to welcome you all on behalf of the national university of education planning and administration the destiny of the nation is being shaped in its classrooms this dictum is well known to all in the field of education but how have we shaped our classrooms and who shapes them how school leadership is important to really transform schools is a well researched and discussed aspect across the world we have with us professor rashmi divan head the national center for school leadership nupa they've been running successfully the national school leadership program across the country helping and enabling number of school heads to really transform their schools let us learn from her about the national center for school leadership and about the program that's run by the center we welcome you ma'am and please let us know more about it thank you dr kashyapi namaskar i join kashyapi in welcoming you to this program the national center for school leadership was established at national university of educational planning and administration under the aegis of ministry of human resource development government of india in 2012 The main purpose of this center is to build leadership capacities of school heads to facilitate them in transforming schools to centers of excellence. Right since its inception, the National Center has been working with a single motto: Every child learns and every school excels. Thank you Professor Divan. I think that's really important in today's context. Today schools have been in public domain as never before. With the change in the social matrix, the aspirations and expectations from schools also have been changing. And there's a realization today that schools must change. And in this context, how do you see the role of school principals in really school transformation? Certainly, I agree with you Dr. Kashyapi. that school heads as transformative agents are occupying the center stage of all reform measures of government of india and it is the school head who plays a key role and is answerable to all that happens inside the school it is becoming critical at this juncture to help school heads and systemic administrators understand the strengths they hold and unfold their leadership qualities and potentials school leadership development therefore becomes essential it is in this context that national center for school leadership conceptualized a nationwide program on school leadership development this program is designed to support our school heads to strengthen their leadership knowledge base mm-hmm. skills mm-hmm. and attitudes mm-hmm. for moving from administration and management to leadership in schools that's a real good effort i think we must thank the ministry of human resource development for supporting this initiative of nupa and of course the leadership at nupa so tell us ma'am who is this program going to address This program is designed for the principals and heads right from elementary through secondary and senior secondary schools which means we have 1.3 million schools in the country and approximately 4 lakh school principals and looking at the context in which these schools are placed we understand and you are also well aware that Many of our schools are struggling for basic amenities also especially in the remote rural areas and elementary schools with either single or two teachers so how are you going to strengthen the leadership potentials of schools or heads in such schools and thinking of an online program to reach out to these schools don't you think is too ambitious a program you are right kashyapi I think there have been doubts and you perhaps have given me an opportunity to address many more people with similar feelings any technology enabled program could be a dream world for many it however would become a reality 
when one is provided the required exposure. So being a team member, I think Kashipi, you are very well aware how much did we debated on it and discussed on it, discussed the criticality of the design, delivery and feasibility aspects. Finally, we decided to go ahead and for two major reasons. Today, we have entered the world of digitization. On the personal front, there are smartphones and internet connections in every household. Government schools today have also improved significantly with many having computer facility and smart classrooms. We however understand that a large number of government schools still are deprived of minimum basic facilities. But should it stop us from planning for a better future? So in the coming years, children in such schools and also the school principals and heads would question us on why are we neglected and why are our schools at the bottom when other schools are headway. So we are preparing our school heads for times to come. Maybe today we make a very humble beginning. Maybe not many today are able to appreciate and commit to this initiative. But every change begins from a small step and thus the initiative taken. And perhaps as you said, with the mind boggling numbers, face to face would take another decade. Therefore, running an online program we thought would be the best option available. Since this is going to be the first ever online in-service program for the school principals in government schools across the country, I think there's a lot of curiosity and there's a lot of expectations as well. So yes, number of doubts would be raised, people would challenge, we may even fail, but I think it's a very positive and a very great initiative. And to me, it seems that along with learning a lot of skills on leadership and developing a knowledge base, there's something that the school principals would also work on computers, internet, and would sharpen their basically techno-savvy skills also. So tell us something more about the special features of this online program. Matching complementarity strengthens individuals through discussion forums, Google groups, mm -hmm. the principals would network across the nation mm -hmm. and the social media like Facebook would act as academic media. Blogs and wikis would give an online platform mm -hmm. to share one's ideas, doubts, learning mm -hmm. and also improve on the thinking, reflection and articulating skills. Mm -hmm. The online platform would thus function as the new ATM machines where people not only withdraw but also deposit all the new experiments and innovations in schools could be video recorded or uploaded in the form of case studies, picture stories for everybody to reflect and learn. I like this concept of ATM machines. I think this is going to be a wonderful idea if our school principals start sharing their success stories online. Perhaps there will be a lot of learning and a lot of exchange that would take place. I think it's a wonderful initiative. And ma'am, please let us know how is this program going to be advertised and how would it reach to the school heads across the nation? For the benefit of school heads, the program links would be displayed through NUPA website, NUPA web portal, MHRD website, mm -hmm. SSA and RMSA websites, mm -hmm. websites of education department of all state governments, National Center for School Leadership Facebook mm -hmm. page, NCSL blog, mm -hmm. Google group and also through state resource groups who would further support in its outreach. This is going to be a very challenging program 
and reaching out to so many school heads across the country i mean there must have been a lot of thinking and lot of effort which must have gone into it tell me how have you organized the program see kashipi we see this program in three parts mm -hmm. the first one is basic the second moderate mm -hmm. or intermediate and the third advanced this year we are focusing on basic level only to help maximum school heads in this country to get registered and derive benefit from the program the program is supported by moodle platform mm -hmm. and is divided into four quadrants mm -hmm. the e content mm -hmm. self learning material mm -hmm. reference material mm -hmm. and evaluation mm -hmm. in each of these quadrants differential inputs would be given and all the material mm -hmm. including the videos could be downloaded mm -hmm. thank you so much professor devan i think with such a detailed insight you really helped us know so much about the program tell me if you have some last message to our viewers yeah i am reminded of robert frost and i quote the woods are dreary dark and deep i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep miles to go before i sleep thank you professor devan for that not only informative but enthusiastic talk and yes we have miles to go before we sleep so as to be able to provide quality education across the schools in the country and i would like to say with faith good hope and commitment together we can and we will make it a difference